usually go once a year, so it was the first time for us this year, and uh, we wanted to, of course, uh, eat the, the good the good food and uh, spend time with our family. It's a sweet lead into spring with the start of maple syrup season. Sugar shacks like Cabana Sur Constantin here in Saint Eustache, north of Montreal, are running and open to welcome visitors. It's usually below zero at this time of year, but today it's climbing to plus eight degrees. Some say the warmer temperatures could be affecting syrup production. If we're making the maple sap to come through the trees, we have uh, high temperature during the day and low temperature during the, the night. We have to make like 10 difference. We have to freeze during the night. If you still have high all day long and all night, we don't have sap. By the old time, we take buckets uh, that we come, we take it and we bring back at the sugar shack and we boil it. Uh, for now, it's like uh, we take with uh, tubes. We take the maple uh, maple sap from the, the trees at the back and we um, come the sap here at the sugar shack that we see here and we make the maple syrup with a, a machine the evaporator. Ideal conditions for tapping maple sap are temperatures between minus 5 and plus 5 degrees. But with over 3,000 visitors a weekend, Maxim says the weather is causing many to stop by. We heard it was a very good uh, good place to eat um, there is uh, the food, of course, but like everything is a part of the experience. We really, really love maple syrup, <laughs> but we really like to come here because of the animals, so it's pretty fun for the children. Me, I like uh, the music and eat. <laughs> It's very cool. We started like in uh, 1941, so that's a long time ago. It's my uh, grand grandmother and father who started that. We're the fourth generation. We have about like 250 employees to work here during the Sugar Shack only. That's a really, really cool time of the year that we love. In Montreal, Anastasia Dextreen, City News.